Hey, thanks for joining me. This is part three of a three-part series where I make mini albums from a pizza box. These patterned papers came from the Simon Says Stamp kit for March. My booklet measures three and a quarter by five inches, same as the booklet in part two. And I trim out three inch by four and three quarter inch pieces to create a nice one eighth inch framing effect on each page. Chopped the corners at a quarter of an inch at the top corner only. I just thought this softness would be a nice compliment to the feminine florals. I use double sided heavy duty tape to adhere my papers to their pages. I've shaped some of the off cuts of card to use along the front and back of the belt. These are simpler than they look just squares trimmed a quarter of an inch short on the top and side against the measurements of the belt and then corner chomped like before at a quarter of an inch. It was kind of tricky using my crocodile on such small pieces but it was definitely doable. After adhering the front card piece I used a basic piece of foam and a cheese knife prong <laughs> to create a couple holes in the corner. I got these Tim Holtz lock and key adornments with the February card kit and I used the same adornments on the first mini album in part two. I thread a piece of twine through the adornments and then through the holes in the cover. I pull that up in place, turn it around and tie it off in the back. I also cover this square knot with some tape and then adhere the back of the page paper. I also put a piece of pattern paper on each pocket and use a quarter inch wide double sided tape to close the pocket. I actually only have enough pattern paper to cover half of this booklet so I use lightweight white cardstock I already have to make up the difference. The pocket shapes vary depending on their previous function as a pizza box. For most pieces of paper, I just use my scissors to cut a diagonal, but on two, where they were once closure points, I corner chomp at a quarter of an inch. Along the spine gap here, I just use a half an inch rectangle of white card. And then this one last pocket on the back cover doesn't fold in but outward to create a closure for the belt. What a pretty little booklet already! I used my forearm to neutralize some of the stick on this blue painter's tape. Then I can use it for masking without tearing the paper. This Simon Says Stamp set came with the March kit. I'm going to frame out these bunnies using masking and my misty stamping tool from My Sweet Petunia. I'll link everything in the description. This tool is really useful for people like me who don't get their stamping right the first time. It also makes it so I can check my masking placement as I go along. I use a mini pad of ground espresso archival ink to ink up these stamps. You do have to push down pretty forcefully and I didn't get full coverage the first time around. I'm glad this tool gives me a second chance or a third or fourth or fifth. Isn't the masking reveal process just magic? They're so cute. Here's a DIY adornment. I used three one and a half inch by three inch pieces of white card to make a mini notepad. The back piece is one and a half inch by two inch rectangle with the top one half inch scored to fold over. I of course decide to corner chop and then use my same ink to color that half an inch fold brown. 
I assemble it with tape on the flap and staple to secure. After cutting this one I shorten, you'll see why. And corner chomping, my rapids are ready to find a home in their book. This Dymo is great for retro labeling. I named this album April Flowers. These fuzzy balls came with the kit. And I used Fabri-Tac to put them in place. I use my Kodak 2x3 sticker photo printer to print off some April flowers from my yard. Peach blossoms and cherry blossoms. I really am happy with this one. I just think it's so cute and so April. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Join me again next time.